Hello everyone, Rene here. My last video was about my computer and my DayZ settings, but a lot of you also requested my recording slash streaming setup. I am mainly going to talk about recording and editing though. On the response of my previous video, people asked me which microphone I actually have, because I didn't mention them. At the moment, I'm using a Plantronics Gamecom 388 in game, which is great value for money, but it gives quite some background noise I have to say. For my recording and streaming, I use a program called Open Broadcaster Software. This is open source and therefore free to use. I use this program so much that I just dropped a donation for their hard work. At the moment there are two versions. You have the normal one, that is the old one, uh, which I still use, and the multi-platform one. The multi-platform is the future one, but all the older functionalities are not implemented yet and therefore I still use the normal one. After you've downloaded OBS you can boot it up and the first thing you need to do is create a scene. Just create a scene and uh, just give it a name, a random name. I already did that so I'm not gonna do that right now. After that you gotta make a source and the sources are layers on top of each other. So the first thing you do is uh, you boot up your game and you create a new source. Right click within the sources field, click add and select game capture. Give it the name, in this case DayZ. And in the next window you select the application, in this case DayZ again. And you select anti-cheat compatibility. This is needed for DayZ at the moment. Uh, so just make sure you select it and click OK. So let's go through the settings. You click, uh, first thing you want to do is click on the encoding tab. There is three types of co uh, encodings. The X264 is the codec that OBS uses itself, but it is very CPU intensive. The quick sync is for Intel i5 and i7, so if you uh, have that, you can use it as well. But I personally use the NVIDIA NVENC uh, codec, which is also used by Shadowplay, for example. Next thing you want to do is uh, insert the bitrate. I personally use 20,000, you can put it higher, you can put it lower. Lower is lesser quality, the higher the bitrate, the higher the quality, but also the higher the file size. The checkbox UCBR is advised for streaming, for example, you need to turn that on, so it uh, always uses the maximum amount of bitrate. I turn it off during recording, because then it uses sometimes less uh, than 20,000 of my bitrate so it gives me a tinier file size. I did not change anything in the audio settings here I believe. So let's check out the broadcast settings. I use a file put only you can select live stream if you want to stream right there. Um, the important thing here is the file output. An important thing about recording is that you kind of have to record to a different hard disk. Not the C partition but a different hard disk. That's the most important thing about this tab. The file name you choose doesn't really matter because it iterates on the name you choose. So it is stream 1, stream 2, stream 3, etc. So the next thing is the video tab. I record on 920 to 1080 uh, and I also record on 60 FPS. But the question you might ask is, but Rene, you don't get 60 FPS. That doesn't really matter because uh, it will just fill in the blanks with uh, double screens and the times I get higher FPS you will notice that in my videos. If you stream for example and you want to go to 720p you can scale it down to one and a half and then you can just play your games on 1080p while having an output of 720p. Uh, on the audio tab I didn't change anything in particular but uh, so because I mainly uh, do that in Windows so in this window I select my headphones and in the other window I select my microphone from my headphone. If you have different microphones you use, for example you have a different one for TeamSpeak and you have a different one for your recording software, you can all select it in the applications but you can also kind of control it via Windows. The next tab is hotkeys and I only use the push to talk hotkeys. There is two that you can select. One, the mouse for is for TeamSpeak and caps lock is obviously for in-game. And I use them because I'm sitting in the living room and I sometimes have a lot of background noise. So to filter that out, I just use push to talk. This has also has disadvantages because if I'm really scared, for example, sometimes I just 
you know, I just jump out of my seat and I say fuck, for example, you don't hear that because I don't push the button for those moments. So that's a disadvantage of it. But I really like to use it. For the next part of the video, we're going to look at the editor software. I use Adobe Premiere Elements 11. I bought that because it was it, it's, it's just a home version you can use. And uh, you can upgrade to version 13. As you see, they, they spam me every time. I boot up the program at the bottom. So we've just opened a random file. Uh, as you can see, um, you can export the video at the top right and that's the settings uh, I use for that. I tried different formats, but I mainly asked my friend who is an editor to help me with these settings. So I uh, mainly use AVCHD. I have uh, different presets. I uh, change them around sometimes and you can also see the file size uh, down below. Uh, the time it takes to render and the format it kind of uses. So if you click on advanced here you will see uh, that I use NTSC the 1922-1080. Uh, you also have an audio tab I didn't change a lot to that and if I scroll down you can see the target bitrate and the maximum bitrate. Those are the ones that are most important. Um, I haven't tried anything out I just followed the advice of my friend and I didn't touch it since I believe. Some of you ask me, Rene, where do you get your music from? Well, I get most of my music from the audio library from YouTube. I try to choose the least popular audio tracks that fit together with DayZ. Because if you take a well-known song uh, that a lot of other YouTubers have overused, for example, then you, you know, people will recognize the song and they're like, oh, this song again. And they kind of get annoyed by it. And that's not what you want. You need specific music of your own. I will also always credit the music I use in my videos so and other YouTubers do that too. So if you like a song you hear from me or someone else uh, just uh, uh, check the description because they need to credit it. That's, that's one of the things you need to do when you use a song. If it's not credited it's probably uh, made by themselves or by a, you know from the YouTube library because there you don't have to credit it. Um, I also recently started to uh, make music myself so I'm creating a short database myself of music I made because that's another hobby of mine and this song you hear at the moment I made myself so uh, you can expect uh, more of those in future videos. So let's talk about the editing itself. So what do you kind of do? As you see, I am faded in the music I used here. You don't hear it at the moment because uh, the sound wasn't recorded for this, but you'll get the idea. Uh, you always try to fade in the music so it's, um, it fits in the video better. And also in the videos, I usually use direct cuts. That basically means that you don't add any animation in between certain scenes, for example. And if you have inserted a song in a video, for example, uh, you don't want to put it too loud. Uh, you still want to hear the voices clearly over the microphone. What you can use to cut scenes as well is the beat of the music, for example. Because if you cut a certain scene on the beat of a music, it, it just fits better. Also, because the music supports the cut. Also, what I wanted to tell you is that my microphone, I told you before that it uh, makes quite a lot of noise. So in this program, I have a denoiser. So I, when I put this uh, thingy to minus 11, it actually removes all the background noise. And that's why my voice is pretty clear at the moment. The microphone I'm using for um, the narration is different than the headset I'm using. I use a Sennheiser E855. I had this microphone still lying around because I basically use it to record vocals for my uh, musical creations as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was more clear. Please let me know if I forgot anything in the comments. Uh, please ask me questions. I will respond to them and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.